Welcome to this introductory course on programming using Arduino. For this course, we will be using the Speeduino, an Arduino board developed by our very own SP Engineering students. Let's look at the layout of the Speeduino board. This is the USB connector where you connect the Speeduino to your computer. Here are the 5 volts and the ground pins. The digital inputs and output pins to the microcontroller. The analog output pins. And the analog input pins. This is the plug in wireless shield. It adds Wi Fi capability to the Speeduino board. Let's connect the USB cable. Make sure the USB connector is facing up. Connect the other end of the cable to the USB connectors on the Speeduino board. This is how it looks like after you connect the pins. Now, connect the cable to the your computer's USB port. It's time to run your first Arduino program. Start the Arduino software in your computer. Click on File, Examples, Basics. Select the blink example code. This code will make the LED on the board to blink. Let's compile and load the code onto the Speeduino board. Click on the Upload button on taskbar at the top. The status of the uploading is shown in the status window at the bottom. Uploading should be successful in less than a minute. The status will indicate done uploading. If it takes a long time to upload, or uploading failed, try changing the COM port. Then upload the code again. After uploading, the LED on the board will blink. Congratulation, you have run your first Arduino program. Let's try to understand the blink code. The setup function is run only once, when the program starts. Pin mode function set the pin connected to the build-in LED to be an output pin. The loop function is executed over and over again until we power off the Arduino. Your turn now. Try to explain these codes that runs inside the loop function. The blink code makes the LED blink at one second interval. Let's try to make some modification. Try to modify the blink code to make the LED blink faster at half a second interval. And slower at two seconds interval. After modifying, upload the code to Speeduino to see if your modification works accordingly. In our next video, we will enhance our code to have different brightness level of the LED.